we are at Capel Manor College in Greater London. Head of Horticulture and Landscaping, Tom Cole, is going to show us how to feed your houseplants to keep them strong and healthy. Step 1. Which fertiliser? Foliage based plants require a fertiliser which is high in nitrogen, whereas flowering plants need one that is high in potash. Alternatively, you can simply use a general house plant feed. Remember that some plants, such as cacti and orchids, may require a specialist feed available from good garden centres. Step 2 When to feed? Newly potted plants should not require feeding for the first few months. The compost nutrients will deplete after about six weeks. You should feed your plants from early spring to late summer, whilst the plants are in active growth and stop in the winter. Monitor the growth of the plants to determine how often, if at all, any fertiliser should be used. Schedules can range from every watering to every three months. It depends entirely on the plant type. Step 3. General fertilising. Always follow the guidelines on the feed's packaging. The general rule is to pour a tablespoon of feed into a little water and mix into a paste. Then dilute this paste by adding water to the watering can and simply apply to the plants. Step 4. Time release fertiliser. Time release fertilisers such as plant spikes and osmocote are perfect for large and well established house plants. Push three to five sticks of tablets into the soil, then recover. This feed can last from two months up to an entire season, depending on the brand. Step 5. Foliar feed. This is designed for foliage based plants that are not in bloom. Spray the feed all over the leaves from a distance of around 30 centimetres. This is the fastest way of getting feed into the plant and is a perfect quick fix for leaves that are yellowing. As with all feeding, the compost must be moist, otherwise you run the risk of scorching the plant. Done. 